Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Faction Inspection. In these videos, we will go through every faction in the game, ranking them by eight categories. Starting Domain, Infantry, Cavalry and Monsters, Ranged, Siege, Military Production, Economy and Looks. Each category can give between 1 to 5 points, and at the end of every video, we will take a look at the total amount of points given to the specific faction. Bear in mind that this is my personal opinion, so you should take these videos with a grain of salt. Dale, the nation of archery. In the Hobbit films, they were portrayed as a nation without a professional army. Is it the same in Dak? Do they rely on the common folk to do the job? Or can they feel some trained soldiers in times of war? Today, it's time for Dale to have a little inspection. As Dale, you start off with four regions under your control, with two of them being huge cities. Dale itself and Eskaroth. There are many rebel regions to the east and a few in the south, so expanding your borders further can be done without any real threat. Regarding threats, you are safe as Dale in the start of the campaign and can really focus your time on getting the settlements developed and the economy flowing. Rune will cause you pain at some point though. And if the proud people of Darwinian falls, you might be next in line. You only have four regions and the economy may be poor in the start. But you are so safe from harm in the first turns. The time is not unlimited, not at all. But you will have the time to truly prepare the Dalian machinery for war before this real war begins. In this category I will give Dale 4 points. You are safe and you have the time to develop your nation before any real wars begin. In terms of infantry quality, Dale is probably located precisely in the middle if you would compare them with the other nations in the game. One thing you should take into account is that you only have one spear unit, the Godrots, restricted to a Rovanian region. They are not the best, absolutely not, but you will need them in the fights against Rune, so try to capture a few Rovanian regions. Other than that, you have most fields covered. Some great pikemen, decent early tier units, capable late game sword and board, and the barding herd, which in my opinion is your most important infantry unit. When late game hits and the armored dragon regiments start to arrive, the barding herd is the best counter. With their big two-handed weapons, they can cleave through even the toughest armor Rune can produce. In the infantry section, Dale will get a three-point score. One thing more to add is that the late game units of Dale looks pretty damn cool as well. Three units in here, and all of them have a great purpose. The Dale Cavalry will be useful for you in the early stages of the campaign. They are okay for their tier and can charge down foes with lesser armor with the 5 charge that they have. Once again I will tell you the importance of the Rovanian regions. The Avotioda Horse Guards might just be the most important cav you have with their 9 charge bonus. They also have bows they use, so a really good hybrid cavalry worth getting. The earls are of course a solid force as well, have a cavalry with a good melee stat, but a really mediocre charge of 6. 
good at dueling with other cav and some infantry units. Their charge will still kill a lot of troops, so you can use them in every type of engagement. Three points will be given to Dale in the cavalry section. You don't have much, but the ones you have performs quite well. The strongest part of the Dalian military is definitely the archers. Even the trash tier has a solid missile attack of three. An archer for every tier and all of them perform well. Athala rangers are available from the start as well. And they are a mighty force indeed with a huge range they have. You can really destroy your foes from range as Dale, especially with the hearth guard. With the armor piercing shots they are a perfect counter to the heavy units of Middle Earth. But it doesn't end here, no. Heavy armor and the fact that they have spears as a secondary weapon means that they totally destroy the biggest counter that archers have, cavalry. Probably the best human archer unit in the game if you look at the whole package that they bring. In the archer section, Dale deserves to get a solid 4 point score. In the ranged battle between you and Rune, there isn't even a question on who is the superior one. As Dale, you only get the standard siege weapons. And most of you here know that I will give two and a half points for that. So that is the points they will have. The replenishing rate of your troops are quite fast. About a 10 turn cooldown for all of your starting units, except the Thala Rangers. Make sure you recruit new troops sparingly in the start though, because your economy can't handle it. Most of your units are quite cheap in terms of upkeep costs, so you will be able to field some good full stacks when you have the economy sorted out. When the economy is flowing and the high tier military buildings are done, you can recruit your troops at a fast rate. Dale is really in the middle in terms of much, and I would say that you're about in the middle here as well. Three points to Dale in this category. Your economy is in a ruined state in the game start, so therefore it is really important that you try to use the forts around you as much as you can. Try to make as many of your soldiers free upkeep at the start as possible. Get the meeting halls in the regions that you don't have any to make your generals free upkeep. 250 they cost each turn, so it will take 4 turns for them to pay themselves back again. With the spare money you have, I would go all out economy buildings, so that you slowly but surely start to make decent money. This shouldn't be a problem for you, since you are so safe in the start. You have the time to repair the economy. Once the economy is stable, you can earn a lot as Dale. In this category, I will give Dale a 3 point score. The economy may be poor in the start, but you have the time to repair it. Dale looks really nice throughout their roster, except maybe the peasants. The middle tier units have a nice uniformity and the late game troops just look badass all of them. The blue and silver theme that Dale has just fits them so good. I like it all. Weapons, helmets and armor. Looking at the Dale and army from afar just makes me want to play them so bad. Four points will be awarded to Dale in this category. The Dalian army makes my eyes happy. Thank you all for watching. Dale slots in at spot number three, just half a point higher than Rune. If you enjoy this video, feel free to leave a like. I'm going to maybe aim high here, but let's see if we can get 70 likes within a week. 
that would make me a happy man indeed. As always, have a wonderful day. Goodbye to you all.